What's up guys, I'm Mavs here and we're looking at solving linear equations today, really important topic. Now, this is so important, the questions today are really obvious that we're using um, this method, so all the methods that we go through. However, um, loads of other questions, you'll need to know algebra and you'll need to know how to solve with algebra. And a lot of them don't look like they're algebra questions, and then you get to a point where you've got an unknown and you're trying to work out what the value of it is and then you have to use these methods. So this is really important skill to get right, to be able to get the best grade on the um, foundation GCSE paper. So let's get started. We've got Edexcel up first, and here we're given x plus x plus x equals 51. So the first thing to do is collect the like terms, is to convert that into 3x equals 51. Now, m the method I use is uh, using the tram lines. I always draw two straight lines down with the equals. And that's to keep everything really nicely organized. What I've got to ask myself is, what do I need to do to the left-hand side just to have the x on its own? Because my target, my goal, is to have x equals. So we've got that annoying times 3 there. And remember, when a number's next to a letter, it's a times 3. So we've got to think to ourselves, how do I get rid of it? What's the opposite of times 3? What's the opposite of that? Well, it's divide 3. Now, I can't just divide the left-hand side by 3. I've got to do the same to the right-hand side. And this is a calculator paper, so I'll get my calculator out. 51 divided by 3, and it gives me the answer of 17. And so x equals 17. We do the same method for each of these questions. So let's do the same method for this one. Get up my lines down. Okay, so what is that over 4? What does that over 4 mean? Well, over in maths means divide. So we're dividing y by 4. And the objective here is to get y equals. So we want to get y equals. So what's the opposite of divided by 4? Well, it's times 4, so we'll need to times that by 4. Now, I can't just do that to the left-hand side. I've got to do it to the right-hand side as well. So we do 3 times 4, which is 12. So y equals 12. Okay, let's scroll down a bit. And last one, we've got a couple of things we need to do now. Uh, so this is uh, called a three-part equation. Okay. Now, we've got a choice here, and there is a wrong answer here. To get f equals, whoops, to get f equals, which is our objective, we need to get rid of the times 2 and the plus 7. But you have to make sure you do the right one first. And the correct answer to this, for this question, is you need to get rid of the plus 7 first. If you have a plus or a minus, you need to get rid of that first. It's kind of like the opposite of bid mass. You get rid of the plus minus first. So we've got a plus 7. We want to get rid of that. So we're going to take away 7. And we have to do it to both sides. Now we're left with 2f on the left-hand side. We haven't dealt with that 2 yet. And on the right-hand side, we've got 11. Now we can deal with that 2. So it's a times 2. What's the opposite of times 2? Well, we'll divide by 2. So we divide 2 um, to the left, and we've got to do it to the right. And 11 divided by 2 would be 5.5 or 5.5. Either is an acceptable answer. Now, let's just go back to that one. And let's see what would happen if I did the wrong one. So if I divided the left-hand side by 2, so say if I didn't follow my advice, and I divided the left-hand side by 2. It could still work. You'd have f, but I'd have to divide the 7 by 2 as well. So that would be 3.5 equals 9. And then I'd take away 3.5 from both sides. And so you get f equals 5.5. Now, you can ask yourself, which of those seems easy? Well, or well, seems easier. I would definitely not do that one. Yes, you get the right answer still, but most more often than not, students will forget to do this bit here. We'll forget to divide that by two. And that's why every teacher in the country that I know, there may be exceptions, will always tell you to do the plus or the minus first. 
Okay, next we've got OCR's offering, and it's kind of the same start. And this is paper one, so it is a calculator paper. And we just need to get um, x on its own, so we want x equals. And to do that, we just divide that by 4, because that's a times 4, so we do the opposite of it. And you can use a calculator if you want. Either way, you get the answer of 14. So we get x equals 14. Now this next question um, is actually much more difficult because we've got that x on the, uh, at the, as the denominator of the fraction and that's a real pain. So there's a few ways um, that you can do this but probably the easiest and we will probably need some extra room here is that um, x means divided by x. So it's 126 divided by x. So what you can do is you can times both sides by x and you end up with 126 equals 7x, okay? Because we're timesing both sides by x to get rid of that fraction. Then 7x means we need to divide that right-hand side by 7 just to get x on its own. We've got to do the same to both sides. And again, I get my calculator out. 126 divided by 7 is 18. So it's 18 equals x, or switch them around x equals 18. So that's a much harder question. Whenever you've got the x or the letter at the bottom of a fraction, just times both sides by that letter and it sorts it out and it gets it gets it nice for you. Right, and we've got a nice three-parter to finish off. So first thing we're going to do is uh, add six both sides. Oop. Add six both sides to get rid of that minus six because we learned on the previous question that it's always better to add, to get rid of the plus or minus first. So we need to add 6 to that, which would be 52. <clears throat> Next, we need to get rid of that times 8. So we need to divide 8 both sides. And we get x equals, well, probably use the calculator, 6.5. I always like to finish on a slightly harder question. This is AQA's offering. And... We're not going to do uh, anything too different. It's just there's um, going to be two things we'll learn here. Expanding a bracket, which we haven't covered in this course yet, but dead simple to do. Um, and also what happens when there's an X on both sides, uh, which is going to be um, something you will need to, to learn to be able to do this question. So we can start off by expanding the, uh, expanding the bracket. Now, I, there are loads of techniques of doing this. Um, I'm just going to do smiles and rainbows, and smile is a smile like that, rainbow is like that. And I always put a notch in that bracket to remind me to times them. So all you need to do is times the 4 by the 3x, so 4 times 3x, which is 12x, and then times the 4 by the minus 2. Now a positive times a negative is a negative, 4 times 2 is 8. And that's expanded it perfectly. Now we will do a series coming up on expanding uh, brackets, expanding and factorizing brackets. So if you're not quite sure about that, just wait for us to do the video. And if you're watching this in the future, um, then the video is probably already out. So just check the playlist. Okay, now the horrible thing here is we have an X on both sides. So we need a kind of rule, we need a way of dealing with it. Essentially, we want to get rid of one of the x's, and we want to collect them together onto one side. So the rule is you pick the smallest amount of x. So here on the right-hand side, we have 12x. On, sorry, on the left-hand side, we have 12x. On the right-hand side, we have 2x. So the smaller amount of x is the 2x. The next thing is get rid of that. Um, amount of x. So we need to get rid of the 2x from the right hand side. So to do that we're just going to take away the 2x from the right hand side but as always we've got to do the same to the right. So here we've got 12x and we're taking away 2x so that just leaves 10x. That minus 8 has nothing to do with it, it's just going to sit there. That, minus, that 2x is gone so 2x take away 2x is nothing but that minus 5 is still there. Okay, then next thing uh, we just continue as normal as we have with the previous question. So there's a minus 8 there, so we're going to plus 8 both sides. Got a few negatives going on here, but that's not going to be a problem. And we've got 10x equals, so minus 5 plus 8. 
Now I've said this in a previous video, if you're not quite sure what that is, just do yourself a quick number line, especially if it's on the non-calculator. This isn't actually, it's, this is on the calculator. But do yourself a quick number line if you don't have a calculator. And we're at minus five, which we're gonna say is here, and we're adding eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now just count, so that, that's minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, and three. So that's gonna be three, okay? So we've got 10x equals three. We want x, so we need to divide by 10 both sides. And we've got x equals. Now, here's a trick. If you divide by 10, you just shift it right in the, um, in the columns. So you remember um, learning about units, tens, hundreds, those columns, and we've talked about them before. So here we've got a three in the units this is our tenth. When you divide by 10, you shift it to the right one. So it becomes here. So it becomes 0 0.3. Again, you've got a calculator for this question, so you didn't need to know that. But if it came up on the non calculator, that's how you would do it. Equally, you could have just um, written as a fraction. So you could have written that as 3 over 10, and they would have been fine with that. Right, well, I hope this video has been useful. This is such an important topic uh, to make sure you understand. So I've tried to pick some questions, uh, the que best questions really, to make sure that you're ready um, for understanding this topic for your foundation GCSE. Um, if you've liked the video, please click like. If you want to see more from us, we release videos every single weekday. That's Monday to Friday. Um, and click subscribe to make sure you're up to date with those. And if you want to see more from us, go to our website on maths.com. There will be a card popping up there right now to click on and go through to on maths.com to check out what we've got. Thank you very much.